anytime you get ready to join a college football program, then you are going to have a lot of different opportunities as far as focus is concerned. In truth, a lot of college football is a business. It's a business and the bottom line is what you do on Saturday. It's winning and losing. If you come to Harding, you're going to have an opportunity to join a football program where the focus is different. The focus is the brotherhood. The focus is what can I do to honor God with my talents and abilities. And I want to tell you that because we continue to have a program that is focused on honoring God in the way we do things, because of the academic excellence here at Harding, because of our facilities that we have in place now, which are second to none in the nation, because of the quality of young men that we have now in our brotherhood. You know, there's more interest than ever before in our program. There's more young men contacting us about having opportunity to wear a black and gold jersey. You know, last year we had thousands of young men contact us. We had hundreds more at our camps last summer. You know, it's really hard to take a group that size and narrow it down to a signing class of 25 to 30 young men. You know, how do we do it? What is the process? You know, I will tell you that in our first meeting we had with Coach Huck and this current staff, Coach Huck walked in and said, guys, you know, when you call a coach about a prospect, you know, before you ask about his 40-yard dash time, before you ask about his vertical, before you ask about how many yards he rushed for, coaches, find out about his character. Find out about his accountability. Can we trust him? Find out about his leadership. Is he a leader or is he a follower? We want the guy that when it's the fourth quarter, his team's behind, things do not look good, he's going to the coach saying, coach, run the ball behind my block. Coach, give me a chance to carry the football. Coach, I want so bad for the ball to be run at me. Because coach, I'll make a play. I'll get it done for you. I'm Josh Aldridge. I'm from Jackson, Tennessee. I play defensive end for Harding. This team is special in many ways, but the, the main way is it's a brotherhood. And we're extremely close. We protect each other. And that's something we preach all the time is protect the brotherhood, protect this family. Our football team is built on the family model as opposed to the business model. You know, we, we are a brotherhood. You know, we, we are trying our best to put our teammates' needs before our own. And we believe very strongly that when you do that, you have a great opportunity to be successful on the field because you're not gonna make selfish decisions. You're gonna make decisions on the field based on what is best for the brotherhood. You're gonna make decisions during the week on the practice field, what is best for the brotherhood. You're gonna make decisions off the field, which is very important, on what is best for the brotherhood, not what is best for me. I'm Kelvin Martin. Uh, I play quarterback here for Harden Bison. My major is exercise science for physical therapy. I came on a visit here at Harden and I fell in love with the place as soon as I came here. Yeah, our brotherhood here is, is something unique. The players care about each other all the time. You're gonna see players hanging out with each other at the dorm, hanging out with older players at their apartments, going to lunch together, scheduling classes where they can still be together. We take our relationship outside the field. A really important consideration in this is mom and dad, how is your young man going to be coached when he comes here to Harding University? And I want you to know without a shadow of a doubt that your son is going to be coached extremely hard. He's going to be held accountable. We're going to push him harder than he thinks that he can go. We're going to demand that he go places that he can't get by himself. But at the end of the day, he's going to know that this coach that's out there yelling at me and pushing me and, and trying to get me to do things that I don't think I'm capable of doing, we're going to walk off the field and he's going to have his arm around me because he loves me. Coaches are extremely close to the players. Coach Simmons has us over at his house to eat. It's the same with all the other position coaches on, on the team, including Coach Huck. Usually the team once or twice a year is over at Coach Huck's house, you know, eating food, hanging out, playing games, whatnot. And, uh, their door is always open to us. They tell us that from the beginning. 
you need to go talk to him about something, he'll tell you, just come over to my house and we'll talk about it. You know, one of the biggest things that is different in college is that because of the, the numbers and because, you know, guys don't play offense and defense. You know, you really develop a, a strong relationship with your position coach. I'm the D coordinator, but I also coach the D line. And those D linemen, those guys are my family. We have a tremendous bond within our group. And those guys, they love to come to the house. You know, my wife cooks for them. They always request corn casserole. I have a seven-year-old, a five-year-old, and a three-year-old. and They're going to be in their lap. They love to wrestle. They think that when the players come to my house, it's time to wrestle. So it's really important to me that I recruit and bring young men here that I would trust without a doubt in my children and my family because we are going to be very, very close for the next four or five years. What is most important here at Harding is spiritual growth, okay? What is second most important is getting a degree, being academically prepared to enter into your chosen profession. When you come to college, you want to get an education and you want to get a fantastic education. You want to feel like when you walk across the stage and get that diploma, that you are as prepared or better prepared than your competition to go out and get that job that's going to help you be fulfilled in your work and take care of your family for the rest of your life. That is critical and you can't find a better place in Harding University. When you come practice at Harding, we hold nothing back. We want, we want practice to be harder than a game and without a doubt that makes you a better football player when you're always competing with each other and the, these coaches push you each and every day and want the best for you and want you, want you to be the best on the field as well as off the field. We're very serious about training our athletes. You know, we're so serious about it that uh, you know, we start workouts uh, in the winter off season several times a week at 5.45 a.m. And we ask our guys to come in and we ask them to give everything that they have to try to better themselves physically, but also to build that sense of brotherhood that is so important when you talk about being successful on the field. The new white facility is unbelievable, state of the art. We've got so many weight racks, plenty of room, plenty of room for core exercises and our, and our plyometrics. We have our own rehab facility, not just training facility, so guys that have serious injuries, they're rehabbing all the time and they have a specific trainer that tailors to their needs every single day. The weight room is 6,600 square feet. It's got the finest equipment in it that money can buy. This place just maximizes our opportunities to train our athletes at a very high level. If you walk in those doors to train every day, you're gonna be able to walk out and say that I had every opportunity to maximize my talents by working out in this facility. There's nothing left to chance. You can train here and you can be assured that you're gonna have the opportunity to develop your body and develop your talents to their maximum. Spiritually, coming to Harding, you're gonna to get to you're gonna to get to come closer to God. And there's a lot of guys that come here that even aren't even you know looking for that really, and they leave here and they're so happy that they did. And uh, they they say guys come back all the time and say how much of a difference Harding made on their lives and uh, how they're much better fathers than they would have been if they hadn't have come to Harding. And when you come to college, sometimes it's easy to stray away, and when you leave college, you're not the same person you came in as. And, our goal at Harding is to be great people as we play great football. Sometimes in our message of faith, it's possible that our competitiveness and our desire to win can get lost. And I want to make sure that everybody understands that we are very serious about being successful on the football field. But we believe that that is a process. Success on the football field comes about when you do the little things right. When you do things like train at a very high level, when you are accountable to the brotherhood, when you have an unbelievably high level of commitment to your team, to your teammates, to your coaches, 
We are trying our best to raise up a, a class of warriors, a class of tough guys. It's amazing how important a concept that is in life. We want our guys to know that when they get out of football at Harding, when they graduate, when they get in the business world, they're sitting at a negotiating table with a bunch of other guys. They're gonna know who the warrior in the room is. They're gonna know the, who the guy is that has been through the tough times, that has pushed himself physically, that has pushed himself mentally, that knows how to get it done. He's gonna have no doubt in his mind that he is that guy. You know, we want young men in our program that are warriors. We want young men in our program that are unafraid. Unafraid to compete, unafraid to work, unafraid to be different. We want guys that'll fight you. Guys that'll fight you in the first quarter, guys that'll fight you in the fourth quarter, guys that'll fight you in overtime, guys that'll meet you behind the bus and fight you again. Guys that refuse to be outworked. Young men that have no idea what it means to give in. That's the kind of guy that we want in our program. That's the kind of guy that we're gonna search for and find. We want the elite young men, we want the 1%, and we will not sacrifice as we look for those guys. If you wanna come be a part of a culture where your spiritual growth is very important, then you need to consider Harding University football. If you wanna be an institution where you're gonna be prepared academically as well as anybody in the country, if you wanna to come to a place where you're gonna be a part of a brotherhood rather than just a collection of athletes, a bunch of guys that love each other, that work hard, that hold each other accountable, then you need to consider Harding University. If you want to be a part of a program where you're going to have a personal mentoring relationship with your coach, if you want to be a part of his family as opposed to just having a business relationship, then you need to consider Harding University. If you want to come to a place where the culture is toughness, we are developing a warrior culture. So when you go out on the field on Saturday, you know without a shadow of a doubt that you are playing with a bunch of guys that you love and are gonna give everything that they have to help you be successful on that day. If that's what you're looking for. Then you need to consider Harding University because I guarantee you this, if you come here and join us, you're gonna get a chance to, to put a ring on your finger that says Division II National Champion.